What's going on guys, Zach here, and I wanna go ahead and show you a game that I was that was created a while ago. And uh, it was just, it just so happens that Titanfall came out, and I was just like, you know what, let me go ahead and show this game off, because this is the exact reason why I just don't give a damn about Titanfall. This game is called Ultimate Night Wyndham XP. This was created by some guy in the East, uh, literally just because he wanted to play a good Gundam game and there was no good, good Gundam games out there. Just a little note, this came out about the same time as the launch Gundam game for uh, PlayStation 3. This was in response to that. And as you can see, it's very fun to play here. Um, but let me go ahead here and start a, here we go. This game is hard as hell, but I'm going to put it on no more anyway. Um, so right now you have a whole bunch of Wyndoms. I, I keep saying Gundam, because you know, of course this game was made after, you know, in response to Gundam. But this is actually, uh, they're called Wyndoms, basically. And the reason why they're called Wyndoms is if you notice the names, like MS-98 or Whistler or Longhorn, these are actually code names for multiple operating systems. For example, Longhorn was the code name for Windows either 7 or Windows Vista, I forget which one. And of course, MS-98, Windows 98, so... There you go. So I'm a big fan. Let's see which one I need to pick here. We got Black Selena here. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm going to try Black Selena. I don't even remember her abilities or whatnot. And your pilot is a cat, by the way. I don't know why they did that whole pot of things, but yeah, whatever. Um, Orientals and cats, right? I don't know. So basically, the game is pretty cool here. Um, you can go ahead and you can shoot with your beam cannon. You can fight with your beam sword, in my case, beam, like, um, um, beam, oh, what do you call that? There you go. Beam staff, I guess, best we call it. And of course, you have three different, um, weapons to choose from when you're fighting here. So, just to kind of try, try to show them off real quick, here's the first one. Okay, the first one to, um, beam tag here. The second one. And the third one, it's like a, a dodging, um, we're gonna speak, um, little spin thing, dodging attack here. Oh, it does pretty good damage too. So let's go ahead and see me fight here. So I can go ahead, oh, got me good. Now this one, some you can actually turn into like, uh, ships or whatever. I can't turn into a ship with this one. You can turn into a plane or whatever, this one I can't. So. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> anyway, so yeah. And that should be it, actually. So, I mean, that one was pretty somewhat easy, but it actually gets a lot harder, especially with these stages here. Um, this is the thing, though. This is what PC gaming is about here. PC gaming is about going ahead and supporting those, you know, those mod communities. Because, you know, I've seen some people actually go ahead and say something like, you know, they will call people like, uh, what is Wrong button. Like, they'll call people like corporate slaves and whatnot. Understand something. If you are if you are a PC gamer and you are sitting down there playing like corporate slave games like Battlefield, you know, um, and what else? Battlefield and um Battlefield and all those other corporate games, you know, then you are just as much as a corporate slave as everyone else. So why is it that you feel the need to call someone else a corporate slave and you think you're better? You're not better. You're just as bad. You know? You are just exact same. You know? It's not just about, um, gotcha. It's not about sitting there thinking, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm better than console gamers because I, 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 have a, I own a PC. Fuck no, dude. Because if you ain't, if you sitting there still playing corporate slavery games, you know, then you still a corporate slave. It's just what it is. You know, don't think you beyond something. Cause I mean, if you're not supporting the mod community, if you're not sitting there supporting, oh look, the guy's got a um, like a dual cannon on him. If you're not doing anything of that, and you're still going ahead and doing a whole uh, corporate slave thing, then I, I don't even know what to tell you. You're not above anyone. You're just exactly as all those other guys are. And I'm not, I'm not pointing anyone out, mind you. I, I don't have anyone in mind when I say this, but I'm just saying. I, I've heard it before. And, and you know, and I, I was like, you know what? It's time to nip this shit in the butt, because you know. Oh, damn. Yeah. Huh? 
Oh, he's got me, he's got me, he's got me. Can I get it? Oh, not enough! Not enough! <laughs> Gotta take him out. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. And wait for it. And fire! Oh, I missed. He's got the same beam cam as I did. Oh, he blocked it right in my face, too! Like I said, another thing, too. This game is like a. Crap, my, my controller went out. This is another thing, too. Why is it that this game was created by just one guy, and to make it worse, it's like the AI is actually better than a lot of the corporate games out there. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. You know, why is that? Can you explain that to me? Uh, come on, man. Camera angle is just as bad as some of them, but... But anyway, yeah, that whole thing with um, PC gaming, I, I just wanted to bring it up there because I've seen people play before, and you know, some people, uh, you know, why did I block that? It's like duh. But you know, I'm just saying, you know, I guess it, that's something that really has been bothering me for a while now. You know, you got the nerve to try to, you know, sit yourself above certain people. When you're just doing the same thing like certain people are, you know? And it doesn't matter if it's just gaming or not. That's just what I'm talking about right now. But, I mean, it just... It just, in general. I mean, I'm not... Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that, hey, look, you know, this game's on PC. You know, don't play it because it's a corporate game. No. I'm not saying that. But if that's all you're playing, you know? If that's all you're playing, and you're trying to call other people corporate slaves, get the hell out of here. You know? You're a poser. Long story short, you're a poser. Especially if you play it, um, I don't want to say especially, but, yeah, you know, right there. Uh, but if you're sitting there playing, like, Battlefield, for one, man, because Battlefield is straight trash nowadays. It's nowhere near what, it's nowhere near what it used to be back in the day. So, I mean, just, I'm just saying, you know. There you go. Had to... Done. Sorry, that was a, <laughs> it's a grenade too. Nice. Let's take him out. Done. Oh, let me get that blocked. How you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh snap! I like you damn right, oh snap. Oh, nice. But, I mean, yeah. So this is like, literally, like I said before, this is actually better than a lot of games that have been created by a lot of these corporations out there making a whole bunch of money off you by giving you the same exact thing and you got one just random guy decided, you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and do better and he just did better. You know? You know I'm just saying. Nice, thank you, thank you. I can't believe I missed that. I mean, I know the thing is... It's been a long time, but still. <laughs> I tried to escape from it. I was like, uh-oh. And now. I still missed? How you doing? Let me show you a secret. <laughs> I love that. Dual beam cannon. One of my favorite moves. Alright, so... This one, it's got like five stations or whatnot. And
and I just want to say that because there's two things that I, you know I want to really show off a game that actually uh, is good and this is what PC gaming is all about like I said before missing the star buildings right there that's exactly what PC games are about um, and because it seems to me that everyone wants to see their you know and it's like amazing how these guys these real corporate slaves out there sitting there I'm talking about not the, not the console gamers but the, the poser ones the PC posers who really want to sit down there and I'm talking while I'm getting my ass kicked, but sit there, you know, we want to sit down there and, you know, try to call everyone else names, but you're still doing just as bad. Why am I running into the beam? So, I mean, I mean, to be honest with you that. And I mean, it's like I said before, I'm not saying that you can't play what you don't want to play, but don't get it twisted. You know, don't get, do not get it twisted, you know? You damage control over the hell you want to. You can play what you want to play. That's fine. It doesn't make you any less of a poser. Like I said before, because this is what real PC games is about. It's always been about this. This ain't this ain't nothing new. This is way even back in the day when um when what was it called? Um uh, uh what do you call it? Uh Doom 2 was out and the Star Wars Doom 2 mod was out and that that mod was fantastic by the way. You know I just hate that every time you run into something and like can't get out that way. <laughs> but. I mean, it, it, it's, it's, it's it. It's just this new generation of um, gamers out here. You know, like I said, I ain't naming no one. I ain't talking about no one. You know, what, like like my bishop says, I ain't saying nothing. I'm just talking about what I'm talking about. You know? Actually, no, it's not my bishop anymore. That was actually my um, it's one of my pastors who used to say that back in the day. Before I found out that thing, found out he was a damn fraud. But whatever. Um. But I mean, that's just that's just what I'm saying, man. It's just like people always want to sit there and um, you know, you think that just because you got a, like a beefy PC makes you just like you know, I don't know. And it's funny too because like the minute they get called out on it, they want to go ahead and do all kinds of weird damage control for it too. Oh, you think? Oh, you think that PC Elitist is real? Actually, yes, PC Elitist is very real. Um, PC Master Race is a it does um another term for PC Elitist. So, technically speaking, PC elitists is those guys out there who will sit down there and they only game on PC. You know, am I an elitist? No, I'm not an elitist. Um, I have multiple consoles. That being said, you know, I definitely believe and always will believe that the best gaming is done on PC. Not because of the corporate games, but because of what you get beyond the corporate games. You know, like this game, you know. Oh, damn. I said I shot the guy point blank and he just gave it right I'm not giving it right back, but I'm saying. Come on, man. This guy's sitting there right there. Alright, that ain't gonna work, obviously. Ow! <laughs> Alright, that ain't gonna work. Oh, I am not gonna win this battle right now. I can already tell you right now. I hate this. It's the last stage, too. Sit up here. How you doing? like the same models I am. What? I still didn't get him! Oh, woo! Was I... Oh, man. Miss and failed. Oh, well. I didn't make it that far. But anyway, um, like I said, it's the last stage. It sucks, too, because the last stage is when you get the new, um, the new thing. But anyway, I just want to go ahead and, um, let you guys know that, man. Like, if you see someone out there and they sit there trying to claim they PC elitists and all that, and they play nothing but Battlefield and they play all these games that you can get on consoles, okay? No a fraud when you see one. That's a fraud right there. I'm out. Peace.